I just got back from Alaska and it just so happens that this video is being sponsored by Food Saver who is providing a trip to Alaska to one lucky winner. To get the information on the sweepstakes, check the description. But anyway, today I am at the beach. That's where I'm at. Look at this rig right here. Is this even legal? Check us out. I'm gonna go for some perch. No, normally people do a high-low or they'll do a Carolina rig with some uh, sandworms. Well, I've got a sabiki, size four hooks. You see that, do you see that? I've got six sandworms on here, it's like Christmas. So if there's fish out here, I mean, man, I could get a limit on two casts. Just leave this out there, get a bite, load this rod up, get 10 perch, and I'll be good. Six sandworms. If there's any fish here, they're gonna bite. So let's test this thing out. Real shallow, real close. See if we can get lucky. Well, just after two casts, I can almost confidently say there's not many fish right here. So I'm gonna keep walking and try to find some, some more spots. Maybe I can find a good fish hole and limit it out real quick. He's fighting a small perch. Nice looking fish. There's gotta be some bigger ones out there though. Man, that's a good little pan-sized fish. All right, we'll get something bigger. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Man, sabiki, all of these worms on it, and a little heavier weight on this light rod, sure makes this little thing feel big. Man, honestly, I don't like the color of this water right now. It's pretty murky. Never really had much luck fishing a murky beach. I might have to change spots. So completely did a 180, flipped the script 100%, no more perch, going for rockfish. I don't like the water, I don't know, I can't catch a damn perch. Anyway, I'm using this swim bait that I used in Alaska. This is what I got it for, up here on the west coast. Change spots, it's a little too shallow where I was. So I'm gonna cast it out here. See if I can get lucky. Tide is still looking bad, really dark red color. Red tide, don't like it at all. But I gotta take what I can get. It's just like mud out here, this red tide. I don't know about that, man. But I mean, fish still gotta eat, right? Well, you see that swim bait right there? I'm gonna save it for a clear day. It's just so murky here. I'm gonna use that Kitex now. They have a little bit of scent. So I know most of you guys that go rock fishing out here, you already know this, but you gotta be super careful, especially on a misty, cloudy day like this. Any algae that's on these rocks are gonna get slippery as hell. If you're out here alone, man, there's a lot of people who die out here, so take everything slow, everything calculated. Don't make any sudden movements, or you'll, you know, you could break an ankle, twist a leg, break a shin. But I'm switching to the Kitek now. I've got complete, utter confidence in the Kitek. I just gotta find a way to get back over to my tackle box. Probably a, oh man, I don't know. A dark green Kitek blends in really well, but also the silhouette should stand out a lot. So I just got a new pack here, a little pack of Kitex. I don't know, I've been really liking these, these swing impact ones. The um, material is a little bit softer, so the hook comes out easier. I feel like more hookups, it's filled with salt. I don't know if you can see, see that, but if you taste it, it's salty. It says uh, strong squid taste. So that's the plan. A little Kitek right now, then bobber with some squid, but let's do the Kitek first. All right, let's do this. Let's get some fish now. I feel confident. Got my confidence back. Let's do this. There's a fish. I don't know how I got one, but I got one. That was right on top too. It didn't even hit the bottom. It didn't even sink down. Usually it takes about 10 seconds for it to sink down. See what, it, what this thing is. Man, little, ro little rockfish. He's not expecting that at all. Damn it. Sucks, he's small. But I gut hooked him. So 
I got to keep him. Damn it. He's, he's really small though. Shoot. Hooked him right on the bottom of the tongue, right through the gills, like pretty much in the heart. I mean, it's cool I caught a fish, but that sucks that I gut hooked him. For sure I would have released him. Ah, oh, man. Little guy, I didn't want to catch you like that. You can see all the blood right here. Straight gut hooked him, like there's no way he's gonna live, so. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna package him up. He's small enough where I can cook him whole at home. So, get my knife here, stab him straight through the head. So let's see how I do this first. If you wanna dress this fish, I'm gonna do it just like a trout. You can do this like any fish almost. So right here, not through the gills, but right here, there's a soft spot, two soft spots. One here, one here. I'm gonna cut through one of them, another one, and then I'm gonna cut through the middle, and that's going to open the mouth part up. So there, right there, in front of the gills, it's all open, the mouth is still attached. You can hold the mouth, and you can see that it's open like that. Actually, I'm gonna cut this all the way down. Now you can see the gills. Gills are still attached. Now next thing you do, through the butt all the way to the top. That'll just make it easier to, to rip off. Make sure you got a good, nice, sharp knife. And it's a little bit tough right here between these fins, so you know you gotta kinda saw through that part. It should look like this. Open. Ooh, that meat looks looks pretty good. So if you wanted to, you can keep this collar here. There's a lot of a lot of meat in here, but on a small fish like that, I'm not going to. So I see its throat, I see its gills. I'm gonna put my thumb down its throat. Now the head can be ripped off really easily. And with these rockfish, you want to make sure you're careful about the spines. You don't want to get pricked by the spines. But if you just pull back a little bit, all the gills and the collar should come off. And if you did it right, all the guts will come out too. So boom, there you go. There's a clean fish. If you wanted to eat it whole, just scale it and it's ready to eat. So it looks like he, he wasn't eating very much. Nothing in, his, nothing in his tummy. Nothing in his tummy at all. So I'm gonna toss that back. And this guy's pretty much ready to eat. No, not, yeah, ready to eat pretty much, but I'm gonna vacuum pack him and bring him home. <laughs> I'm gonna bust out my vacuum sealer, technically called the Game Saver Outdoorsman Vacuum Sealing System. Straight from the box, I'm gonna take it out and vacuum seal this fish right here on the rocks. So a pretty cool feature about this thing, it can seal 40 consecutive bags up to 120 pounds of meat. So like six pounds of meat per bag. 40 bags. So these right here are the Game Saver heat seal bags and rolls, 28 pre-cut bags. Pretty cool, I think this will fit the fish perfectly. So right here, there's three switches. This one's open, so you can open it, put your bag in there. Another one's for storage, it won't open. You can just store it away, you don't have to worry about it. And next one, flip it up to operate, then you can seal it or vacuum seal it, whether or not you want to take the air out. So these bags and rolls are multi-layered which and they're advertised as puncture proof so we're going to test it out right now and see if it's really puncture proof best way to test it on this rockfish it says it's tear proof too so you know rubbing on these rocks we will see this thing looks pretty easy to use i'm going to put it on open open it up you can see there's this big wide gasket right here and there's this little tray and all the moisture and all the liquid that gets sucked out from the bag it's in there you clean it out really easily so what i'm going to do this bag has a rough side on the bottom and a smooth, clear side on top. So what I'm gonna do is put the rough side down, put it into that tray, make sure it's flat. That's the most important thing. You just wanna make sure that it's completely flat so we can get a good seal. Close it, put it on out, operate. Now you just press the vacuum seal. It's really simple. And you can see all the air is getting sucked out of this bag takes out all the air, all the moisture, so you won't have to worry about mold or anything. Look at that. I can throw that on ice and I can put that in my freezer at home. Now when it's ready to seal, the seal light turns red, sealing up, and just wait for that to turn off and then the heat will be off. And that bag should be sealed good. 
And if you're worried, if you want to do another seal, all you got to do is just move the bag up a little bit or down a little bit. And instead of pressing vacuum, you just press seal again. It'll heat up, it'll melt that plastic, and you're good to go. All right, so you can see, got two seals right there on the bag all the way across. Ain't no, no, nothing getting out of there. That thing is sealed nice. And I can throw that in my cooler. So I'm gonna pack this thing up right now. Pretty cool little promotion they've got going on September 7th to September 14th on Amazon. 20% off this Game Saver and the Game Saver bags and rolls. Pretty good deal. 20% off, that's a you know, good savings. Anyway, check it out if you guys are interested. And also check the description if you want to win one of these combos with the Game Saver and the bags and rolls. Just check out the description, you'll find details there. Get one for free. Also, there's a trip to Alaska. You know, I just caught, got back from Alaska, caught a 100 pound halibut, so chance for you guys to go up there too. So check the description for that. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to fishing. Maybe I'll catch another one and seal them up too. But man, I don't know, man. It's just so murky out here, but I'll try my best. So I'm at a new spot now. Check out the water. I don't know if you can tell, but man, that is like mud. It's like dark brown. Not very good conditions, gotta say. And I get out here and there's just trash and garbage all over the place. Come on, y'all. Somebody buying shrimp, eating saltine crackers, smoking some stokes. Come on, y'all. Gotta clean up your mess. All right, let's catch some fish here. So I'm still using the Kitek, the green pumpkin. I got a good feeling about this. Even though the water is so murky, I think I can pull up a fish from here. Throwing it right at this ledge too, because you know, like I said, it just usually just drops straight down. God, that water is so ugly though. If you didn't know, uh, National Outdoorsman's Day is on September 22nd. So this is all in preparation for that. Hunting, fishing, you need to save your fish, save your, your catch, put it in a bag, put it in your freezer, save it for next season, give it away to friends. Perfect opportunity. So. Everybody just get out, celebrate the outdoors, go fishing, nothing better than just coming out here. Even if you don't catch fish, you get to spend time with your kids, spend time with your brothers, friends, sisters, parents, you know, by yourself. It's just great to get outdoors, so. So yeah, just, just get out here, enjoy life, man. Even if you get snagged, it's all good, it's all good. Unless you get snagged about 20 times, then it starts to get a little frustrating, but I mean, man, we're lucky to be out here. Oh, here we go. You know, we're lucky to be out here being able to fish and stuff. A lot of people don't have that opportunity. Oh, there's a little bite. There's a fish right there. There's a nice fish. Oh, there's a nice one, baby. Oh, that's a good one. What is that? I don't want to even stand up because I might slip and fall, but oh, Look at that! Damn! That thing is huge! Look at this big old black rockfish, baby! Oh man, oh man, I can barely lift it up. It's so freaking big. This is PB status right here. Oh man. Jeez, look at this thing. Holy crap, this is my biggest personal best. Look at this thing. Look at that. Hell yeah, baby. Yo. Look at that. Thought I was snagged. Got it free. Got a black rockfish. Look at that thing. Look, he's got a chomp on his back. Lincoln tried to eat him in the past. This thing is a beast. What a beast. 22 and a half. 22 and a half black rockfish. Let's see how much he weighs. All right, y'all, we got it on zero. Four point six eight pounds on this bad boy. Catching big ones from shore. All right, he's been out of the water a long time. 
I'm gonna let him go because he's a big guy. He can make a lot of babies. I'm happy with the one I caught right now. That's a good meal. I'm gonna throw this guy back. I'm just gonna wait for the water to come up a little bit right here. He's swimming away. Hell yeah, baby. Oh man, 22 inch black rockfish, 4.6 pounds, PB right there. Hell yeah. Man, what a great day. Caught my PB black rockfish, got fish in the cooler, ready to eat. The one thing I didn't get to try and wanted to show you was that bobber with bait. So I'm gonna try that on the next rock fishing video. Also got a couple other tricks that I wanna try on rockfish. But uh, before I head out, just one more time, just wanna thank Food Saver, the Game Saver Outdoorsman. Thank you for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in, in any of that stuff, check out the description. Also, you'll get information on the sweepstakes and giveaway.